Ho ho ho! Merry November everyone! Yeah, so this is our Christmas guide video, which I know, as people will probably point out, why are you saying this in November and not, say, December? Well, there's a few reasons for this. Um, before I was going to put this video together, I was kind of aware of the, the fact that, you know, these things can be stressful. And to be honest, if you can get the shopping in a bit earlier, give yourself a little bit less stress, I would personally recommend it. Um, so to give you an idea of this, um, there's another side of this which is very important. So here in the UK, we've had a second, in effect, I forget the exact terminology they used, it's basically a second national lockdown, up until um, a fairly early point in December, and even then, like that's what they're hoping for. So that has slightly changed this. So in effect, that starts on Thursday, um, as of the recording. So today, as of recording this video, it's Monday. So you've got a couple of days to kind of get, get in there with these things. What I would then suggest is check with people, um, depending on whether or not you can order things in, whether or not they can send them out to you. Talk to people before you sort of buy anything in. So we're going to be listing various businesses here. They've got various things. Some I've been able to check with, others I haven't. But always, like I say, contact them first. Make sure that you can get what you can get from people. Like a lot of places are going to be able to do delivery. A lot of places are going to be able to do collections. It will depend on the business. So I'm just sort of saying that here and now. But yeah, so I'm going to be going over a few different people. A couple of them have supported the, the comic in the past. Um, but yeah, I think um, that's where we're going to start with, with this. And also I'm going to throw in a few um, tips as well um, before we get started. Because I just think that'll help you out. First of all, if you're anything like me, um, <laughs> tape is your friend. Like, use a lot of tape because I am terrible at gift wrapping, so that doesn't help. Also, let me just, oh yeah, gift bags, always useful. Um, to be honest, yes, use gift bags, cover up that thing. Um, also, another kind of cool thing. Um, so, obviously, issue two still on sale, but. At Canary Comics, they do also sell these comic bags, and these are very useful not just for like coming to college, but you can kind of slip other stuff in there as well. So, we've got like stickers and things for that as well. So, anyway, yeah, so the way this is going to go, I will sort of talk about a couple of different things. There will then be little bits of information of businesses in between because we've had a really good response from people who wanted to promote their work we wanted to focus on local businesses independent businesses um, artists that do commissions that kind of thing so we're going to be sort of slotting them in putting the names and sort of the contacts in between what I'm sort of saying so if you can take a moment pause check out what they have to offer I will also be writing a blog at the same time that will have these details on there so click on the link in the description below if you want a bit more info, like I say, I do recommend looking at what people have to offer. I'm going to chat a bit about um, some companies that I've used, and like I say, some that have supported us. So anyway, let's get cracking. Okay, so a few sort of general tips that I've I've found. So one thing that you know often comes up during this kind of time. And I think, to be honest, this applies for gift purchasing in general. There's this idea of, it's the thought that counts. And sometimes people misinterpret that as, I remember to get a gift. And it's also not necessarily about spending a lot of money. I mean, if you can, awesome, good for you. But you do have to think about, what is it that a person likes? What are they not necessarily going to get for themselves? And what is, you know, what is the thing that's going to come up at that point and what is going to make them happy? Because that is, in effect, the combination you have to think of when you're trying to get a gift for someone. And it can be tricky. I have got, you know, I'm not going to lie, it's not always easy. And it's not always easy to sort of get it right with people. But I think if you can sort of broadly think of something and then go, oh, right, you know, that's, that's the thing they like. 
I think also what's kind of complicated things recently um, is obviously, as I say, because there are some restrictions on where the shops you can go, etc. And in terms of you know where you can go out, curfews, etc. So therefore, vouchers are a bit more awkward right now. So I would, my personal advice, and obviously you do how you you do you do how you want, but consider what kind of voucher you'd get for someone. Whether, like I'd say, it's something that they'll be able to redeem. Whether it's something that would be appropriate. If you can, I would suggest thinking of something physical. As I said before, think about when you when you have gifts. Maybe if you can have a gift bag as well as gift wrap. In order to, discu to disguise terrible gift wrapping. Because that's what I'm going to do. Because oh, I am not very good at that. Um, another trick that I like to do is what I call like the stealth gift. So, for example, like I said, you, you have like a box of chocolates or something fairly ordinary, and then inside it, you kind of put in, um, like you say, if you have a voucher that you know there will be something that they can use, brilliant. It's like a fun little thing. So, for, for example, cin you know, back in the day when you could go to the cinema, a cinema voucher in with a box of popcorn, you know, something cute like that. So, you know. Something like that. I mean, another thing I will say as well, because obviously, like I say, I do want to emphasise the independent businesses and um, obviously the commission people here as well. But also, don't discount charity shops. You can get some awesome finds in charity shops. And I think sometimes people underestimate that. You can get... I've got some nice prints from charity shops. I have got nice, um, you know, sort of glassware and slightly, you know, unusual things. I mean, obviously check the quality think about what you're kind of getting but if you sort of see something on your travels and you think someone would like that take a punt sometimes sometimes it's just like because if you go to get it wrong it's not the worst thing in the world and it's kind of you're getting it wrong on less money especially if you're on a budget i think i think that's the big thing if you're on a budget i think you want to balance it out and this is the thing, like I said, I don't want to sort of make this seem like this is like an anti-chain tie raid, because it isn't. But I do kind of think there's opportunities now to kind of try out some different places, do some different things. And this is what I'm kind of going to go over and uh, talk about. Okay, so I'm... Um, <laughs> I'm going to put this up here just just to sort of signify this. So we are now going to talk about food and drink. Now, of course, if you are under the age of 18, then it can be tricky to, say, buy alcohol if you're intending to buy it for your dad or what have you. So obviously there's rules around, around that. But as a general rule, I mean, it's worth looking at what's the kind of thing that someone gets regularly and see if you can find something that's similar to what they like. But something they might not have necessarily heard of. So, for example, I'm lucky in that I've been part of a business networking group, and therefore, I've worked with a few different companies. So, for example, and I'll have to see if I can remember to put the um, link up. Um, Sapphire did this awesome mystery flavour chocolate, which was um, a chocolate that looked like one of your flavour, but was actually a different one. But the great thing is, is that they do all kinds of lovely chocolates. So they do your typical. Um, hot chocolate shot with uh, marshmallows, they do chocolate buttons, they do bars of chocolate, they do uh, boxes of truffles, and I think what I like about that kind of thing, and there's a couple of, there's other places obviously that do this as well, I mean I, you know, other listings are available, so again, prefacing this, whatever's available in your local area, I'm sure there's an equivalent, and if not, look online, in the case of places like Sapphire, they do deliver out throughout the UK so I do recommend checking them out it is good because you're giving something slightly different so say like I say say for example you know someone who likes um, dark chocolate and it's like okay but I can get you this single origin 75% and you know that they're not going to be able to get this particular one because the odds are they don't know this particular shop and the groovy thing is, like, I've used them before, they are really good. Example number one. 
Another example, um, Steve Herndon, who um, I know, who does, I think, yeah, Taste Buds Wines. They like import wine in, they can get specific types of wine in. Absolutely t terrific. Again, if you know someone li likes that. And again, you could say, oh, but you know, you'll, you, I could get XYZ in the supermarket. Yeah, you could, but it's Christmas. If you can, edge it out a little bit more. It's something a little bit different. And I think that's the, that's the crucial thing here. And again, with these situations, yeah, and I get it, if you're on a budget, it might be better, like I say, to kind of zero in on a couple of things rather than get like masses and masses of things. Because I often make that mistake. I'll put my hands up where you start to think, well, I'll get this little thing and that little thing. And, it, and, and the little things add up, whereas it's better to kind of zero in on a couple of really good things that people are more likely to want. And, it, and again, it, it's a tricky thing. I'm not having a go at anyone because, like I say, I'm as guilty of it as anyone. So, so there is that... Um, Coffee. Coffee is also a really good one. Again, if you know someone that likes coffee, it's a terrific gift, especially if it's a, a brand they don't know. So, for example, that cafe, which is down the road from me, they do awesome coffee. Um, they oh, they also do a terrific deal at the minute where for £12, you can fork the £12. They do like a box of brownies and you can have it with like different chocolates, whatever you want, and they'll put it on there. And then you can go on and pick it up, which again is good if you're in the local area. However, if you're anywhere in the UK, if you pay £15, they can post it out to you. But again, as with anything, double check with them, contact them first. All these things that I'm talking about at the minute, indeed everything else, <laughs> is subject, subject to change. So do check with them. But again, something like that, it's a really nice thing. Coffra, Coffra are different in that. They can post anywhere in the world, and I've got to say, I've used them before. Uh, I posted out to um, Gray of PTA, who's an artist we've worked with quite a lot, and he is terrific. But like, he's a guy who works really hard, absolutely adores his coffee, like knows better than anyone else. And he was like, "Yeah, that brand of Colombian, like I don't often like that, but that's terrific." So they do a terrific job. Um, okay, might as well go for the hat trick. Uh, Aroma, they're terrific too. They're based on Prince of Wales Road Norwich. Again, we'll try and get all the details in that we can here. Um, but please, like I say, support these people if you can. And like I said, the odds are there are the equivalent in the local area. So there we go. Okay, books. I'm using this as an example, but... This is a particularly sweet book if anyone likes Mac Lucas and wants an insight into performing. That's a really good one. I also, this was a gift from a friend and he actually did sign it, so that's awesome. Now, the reason I just highlighted that was not just to sort of show off my signed book, although thank you. Um, thank you, Dan. Um, also, because I have a couple of friends who are writers and including a long term sponsor of the Renard City Project, so. I did want to give a particular thank you to Edward Cousins Lake of Cousins Lake Media. And not only is he a terrific writer, so he um, has done mainly sort of local interest books. So we're looking at things like um, form, former footballers, we're looking at sort of local figures, local history, etc. And what's really weird is I went to uni at Chichester and he's based in Chichester, so there's an odd kind of parallel there. And I've met him a couple of times and he's awesome and very supportive so you know big thumbs up to Edward he's terrific another great example of a book that I I got the the e-copy version of this but um, obviously look online to see if you can get this uh, Arian Shireen who's another person who's been very supportive um, she produced a book called um, how to think yourself better which I think given the current situation and given that it's it's a more prevalent thing when people are dealing with mental health issues i do think it's a book i would i personally recommend the book having read it having had an introduction in the book to sort of how sort of different types of therapy and treatment works it's also good because it's got like various um contributors so for example um charlie brooker who did um obviously screen life etc and black mirror brilliant writer he contributes amongst others and it's yeah a very interesting 
very insightful book. Um, another one, uh, Viper, which uh, Dan Butcher is currently doing a Kickstarter for, which I will, again, I'll put the link up if you may, if, like I say, if, you, if you're reading, so reading this, if you're watching this later on and it's past the point, I'd still recommend looking up because Dan did some awesome artwork for us. Vanguard is a terrific um, online comic to look up, which has a very sort of Watchmen sort of 2000 AD quality to it. Whereas I think what I'm seeing with Viper, it's kind of got this like interesting sort of retro 80s vibe to it. And I'm like, oh, okay. You know, so I, it's one that I've backed and I'm really intrigued to see what he does with it. So that's an exciting project. Um, so yeah, so that's the, that's the writers. Um, also, we have got lots and lots of artists that have either worked on the comic or people that we know. So what I'm going to do is I will put up some pictures of artists so that you can sort of have a link to their commission work. Because the great thing about using artists is that you can, you know, as I say, get a commission picture from them, which is brilliant. And it's kind of like a double gift in a way, because on the one hand, you are getting something which will be unique to, to someone. So if you know for a fact that X person absolutely loves, I don't know, Back to the Future or they have their own Sonic original character or anything like that, and you get a really good artist to do that picture for them, that is a lovely gift. But the bonus on top of that is that you're also supporting an artist while doing it. And you are letting them sort of, you know, live their lives and sort of do the thing that they love doing. So there is also that too. So that is absolutely terrific. Um, so yeah, there's there's fun things like that. Um, also, a little shout out as a side thing, which is, it, it's a bit of silly fun. But um, if you go on Grumpy Skeletor's Twitter page, you can do a funny poem. So if you know someone who would appreciate, you know, sort of, slightly silly adult humour, you know, that that's a that's a fun thing to do, so there's that. Um I think yeah, 'cause I'll yeah, 'cause there's there's a pin tweet where he's got like the buy me a coffee there, so I'll try and like post a link elsewhere for that. Um yeah, so again you've got all these great opportunities to get work from all these different people. I mean like I say, I'm gonna name the few people that have worked with us. So Ghostly Felice and Andy Carolan are a couple of local ones that I've worked with who were really good. I mean, you've also got people, like I say, Grey of PTA, who's an absolute workhorse. Um, Metal Pandora has a very cool, again, if you know someone who absolutely loves Sonic stuff, her style is terrific, and I, I do highly recommend that. Um, let's see what else. I mean, there's there's lo there's loads of different ones out there. I mean, like I say, if you go on DeviantArt, if you go on, um, like I say, any number of pages, like on Twitter or whatever, usually they will have a pinned tweet and it will say their commission rates and you should be able to see that. What I recommend is check their profile, look for a commission rate post and if you can't see it, then contact them because sometimes people, like I say, if you, if you skip that part, you know, it's kind of, like I say, an extra thing for them to deal with. Whereas I think if you look at it and you know what they're charging, then, as I said, you get an idea. Also, as a little side note, please, please, please do not contact an artist saying, I would like to commission you, but I think you're too expensive or I can't afford you. Like, don't do that. Please don't. Because one, chances are there are cheaper alternatives out there. Two, generally speaking, if an artist has put that amount on there, then you know they have worked to get to that point so please don't do that that's not that's not on that's not a good way of doing things but you know i'm just asking this because i do think it's important to be respectful of the work people put in i, I also want to sort of shout out some creative folk as well so for example i had my friend um gizzy who you know a big supporter of the comic and he asked about you know someone sort of in effect acting as Father Christmas. If you go on um there's like the North Theatre group on Facebook, you can contact people then. Again, I'll try and get this in, in the blog so that you've got a contact to talk to. So you know you can put a post up. But generally speaking, like I say make sure it's clear like if you want as a as if it's a paid 
thing or not. I mean, I think if you're going to get someone to do that, I think it should be a paid thing. But obviously, how you work that out, I can't tell you because I think that's a very specific thing and would depend on what you wanted to do for your child. And obviously, given the current situation that we're in, you would have to kind of tailor it to the whole sort of social distancing thing. But, you know, I think, you know, isn't that, you know, that's a sweet and lovely thing to do. But I mean, equally, like I say, you get a writer to write a letter, you can get people to create a story for you, you can create, you know, there's so much possibilities of things you can commission from people. And again, going back to our good folk at Minuteman Press. Um, so another thing, while, while I'm here, because I did want to mention that, we had a calendar contest and we had various awesome artists get involved with that and I'm very happy to say I mean if you didn't see the Fan Art Friday video being <laughs> if you didn't see that then a big big congratulations to, to Spaton37 who produced this very sweet um, picture of AK Girl and Wonder Vixen doing a costume swap and it was very cool and it is you know the main sort of winner page on the calendar and they will be receiving a copy of the calendar which we will be posting out to to them once that's ready we've also sent out um digital copies to the runners up um so we had like uh, yeah um 11 other people who again all terrific work and it was really nice because i got the feedback from um when at minimum man press basically saying like this is really impressive. This is a really hard decision. Got to be honest, it was a hard decision for me even sort of choosing stuff to pass on because we wanted to kind of have a variety of different things. So we wanted cosplay. We wanted different styles of fan art. We wanted different characters. We didn't want it to be all the same thing. So it was a really hard decision. And then passing it on, they were saying the same thing. Like, you guys are really, like, you are so, so talented and it's so awesome to see. So, yeah we were very impressed what i would also say again regarding minuteman is that you can get personalized stuff from them so say for example you have a memory of a really i mean like i say not not to kind of get too down on this but like if you have a memory of like a really awesome holiday from a year ago or a memory that you have and you have a lovely picture or you know a you know like, as i say you've got a picture of something that they really love and it was a good memory for them you know, turning that into like a, a lovely um, keepsake that you can use via a printer. Um, I mean, that's a, love, that's a lovely, personal, one-of-a-kind thing. And again, I do think special stuff like this, because like I say, it's not always easy to know what to get for people. But I do think if you can find something that's a bit different and, like I say, a bit unique for someone, then that's nice. And I think, you know, sort of... If you go on their website, they've got all kinds of different things. So I do, I do recommend, yeah, look at looking that up because yeah, it's cool, really. Okay, so I just wanted to say a big, big thank you to all the businesses that um, came forward, who gave us uh, details of what they have to offer, gave us uh, links to their businesses and generally like i say we're very sort of helpful and friendly now one thing i was asked was is there a, is there a charge for you doing this are you sort of asking for businesses to pay money for this no there isn't a charge as such for me doing this i haven't asked a business to do this i put this as paid promotion because edward cousin slate has sponsored us from the past before and i mentioned him so got to cover my bases on that front and in, in effect we're talking a lot about businesses so let's play it safe but you know I've got to say what this is about is about support and if you want to we would really appreciate it um, so for example we've, we've done the same thing I recently um, sponsored a couple of videos by Council of Geeks because I really I really like their channel um, but you know putting a little bit down for us um so we have Kofi, we have patreon and we're, we're doing rewards for both of those and again there will be there will be links to look up so if you 
you know, if you do want to donate, that's awesome, but you don't have to, but we would appreciate it, and obviously subscribing to the channel helps us, that doesn't cost anything, um, sharing this video really helps us out, um, but obviously, and obviously buying the comics, so again, just to sort of just do this again, and what I also want to say as well with this, so there's a couple of things to this that I really wanted to say, um, we've only got a couple of days at the time of this recording, for people to go in person to shops like um, Book Bugs and Dragon Tales and Canary Comics or Beckles Books and Beckles and we really need you if you can and if you can go in there in person and buy them that's awesome what I've done so I don't know if it's still there but like with Canary Comics we left a mystery prize with them we also did the same thing with Book Bugs and Dragon Tales with every copy in Beckles books of issue two we've included a little extra prize so you want to do that that's cool um, you can order straight through the website a big big thank you to visualize for the awesome work they do there um, and like I say we have got some fantastic um, actors that also supported us so a big thank you to um, Hayley Ebenut, um AJ Dean and Holly Harrington Bull again Please look them up. You know they've done they've done terrific work, kind of away from from us. But I really like the trailer work, and I really want again. If you can share these things around, it really helps. It does. You know we want to get this out there, and any support is appreciated. If you can put the money down, that's terrific. I mean, incidentally, we did get the money in for this month's Patreon, which I'm really grateful for because it gives us, um, you know, a month's money which allows us to kind of commission people that allows us to kind of work with people with an amount of money allows us to go to companies like Minuteman Press and get you know the comic printed up so it's absolutely terrific and it really does mean a lot it really is important and I think the thing is it's tricky because like I say there are going to be things that people want and again I wanted to make this clear you know there will be certain things that you probably will only be able to get in a shop. There probably will be only things that are available online at the minute or are, you know, or they want like a, a mainstream thing like a switch. That's cool. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to say that, you know, you can't do that. But I, what I will say is if there's someone where you're not 100% sure what to get a present for them or you want to try something a bit different, I would say give us a pun. Give these other, other companies a try because... Whilst the comic that we do might not be appropriate for a person you're trying to buy from, the odds are at least one of these other people will be. And supporting independent businesses, especially at the minute, is absolutely massive. And even if it's just a little bit, even if it's just a couple of quid here and there, you are doing your bit. And I do think it's important. And I do think people do share this. And again, going on, on the shout out trail a bit. I do want to say a big thank you to uh, Norwich Kitty and to um, oh crud, Norfolk Tweeter. I, I froze for a minute there, but I mean, I mean, there are other networking things I've been to that have been great. But the support I got from Jill, from the late Paul Rudd, from Joe and Jim, Jason, all the people I've I've met through these things, and um, Katie Harris from One Form of Promotions. Uh, Karen from Baobar Marketing, uh, Polly from Polly's, Polly's Pantries, who I almost, yeah, I mean, that, again, talking about unique gifts, being able to get someone to, like, make a unique cake for you, or um, something, you know, she's got her sort of special line of chutneys and things, like, individual things that are just really different, so if you're, good, you know, if you're making up a hamper for someone, yes, you could probably go into the shop and get, like, a pre-made one, but why not? throw in something like say get like a basket what have you and do some stuff that's unique and that's part of it so you've got things like Norfolk Gin you've got things like I mean there's any number of shops there's any number of awesome shops and if you look up sort of local online there's lots of different places you can get stuff from a lot of them will deliver direct you don't necessarily need to use it and again if you need to use Amazon you need to use Amazon you know, I'm not saying 
like I say, just to be clear, it's not condemning people. You do what you have to do. Don't go nuts. Don't spend what you don't have to. But what I will say, things that you think you might not be able to afford, I think if you looked online, I think you'd be surprised and you could get some absolutely lovely things. Like, for example, you can go on Sapphire and you can like get these like chocolate cards made up so you could write like Merry Christmas on a bar of chocolate. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Well, probably people who don't like chocolate, but what can you do? But, you know, all of these awesome things. Um, also, um, big, big thank you to Lee Reeves, um, who sponsored us for our um, mall event and also uh, a cameo appearance in the comic. Um, yeah, a little update while, while I'm here. Issue 3 will be coming out in November. We will have a little special launch day video, which we have got lined up. I'm not saying anything, but that will be coming soon. For our Patreons this week, I will be doing a special bonus video, which, again, I can't talk about, but again, uh, tied to that. Um, but yeah, we, we want to kind of keep making special stuff. We have got someone working on issue four. Um, I have written the script for issue five. We do have a finite amount of stories that we want to get through, I'm thinking, up to issue nine. And then after that, well, you know, we want to see how far we can take this. I mean, my dream would be an animated series because I, you know, because it's the kind of thing I grew up with and I love. And to be honest, you know, watching stuff like, like the recent DuckTales reboot and she I still love it, you know? Um, but yeah, this is, this is something that I feel is important and that I think we can make this work we can do something special and i think it's important where you know wherever we can kind of support each other wherever we can help each other out it's important i'm not like i say i'm not saying that you know you can't you know sort of go to a supermarket or because you know practically you have to live your life as well you know i i get that but as much as possible if you can help other people out within your means that's awesome um yeah so anywho yes so these are all fantastic people these are all the contacts that will be below that will also be included in the blog thank you thank you so much for sort of paying attention right to the end here keep an eye out as i say because more info reissue three will be will be coming out soon we have had blogs and things about that as well so again look on the website look look on our channel for more info and yeah i just like i say it's one of those things at the minute with everything that's happened where whenever i have had the opportunity to catch up with people it's been really good it's been really positive and i just just want to say like i say i hope once these things get cleared up once we'll be able to sort of respond sorry respond <laughs> return to a level where we can all kind of be social again because like i said i was hoping to do like a launch event next month but that's not happening now by the looks of it but when we get the chance i definitely want to see people again i want to kind of share this as much as i can because you know i'm there's a lot of people out there that i'm missing at the minute and you know Keep, you know, keep in touch. We're here. Lots of love. Merry pre-Christmas. Okay, so this is a further point regarding sort of creative stuff because um, we receive lots and lots of awesome stuff um, through the uh, Norfolk Business Network. Incidentally, thanks to Paul Swinton, Carol Bundy, and um, various others who very kindly let us post. Uh, Paul Macron, I think, yeah. Lots of people who were very supportive, let us post and kind of spread the word. And this in turn meant we've had lots and lots of people get in touch, which is absolutely terrific. And as I say, we're trying to get as many pictures as we can. And if they're not on this video, then we're, like I say, we're going to try and get them in the um, blog as well. So please, like I say, check the description below because there's lots of stuff to check out, lots of ideas. And as I say, 
there's going to be a few things which, like I say, might be dependent on the current situation. So please get in contact with the businesses first, just to see what can be done. So an exact, ex another good example. So an, one I've seen a couple of things come up with. So for example, about a year ago, I got a voucher with um, Alley Cats Photography, who I know through um, Arch Kitty, and they um, produce these awesome um, pet photos so you know if you've got a pet and you want to take a picture with them you can I mean they also do family photos and other fo types of photos as well um, also Victor Ling's another one I can shout I mean he's got another actually I do want to say this one as well he didn't contact me about this but I've seen him post about this before and I do think it's an awesome idea so say for example you have like an older video or like a, a reel or something and you want to convert it so that you can watch it on say a dvd or as a something that you can access on your computer he can convert it for you and i think that again is something that's potentially very special because i i know like there are things that you know you don't you don't want people to miss out on and it is good i think if you can get something because that is something really personal so i mean as an idea like one thing that happened the other day and okay, this isn't really to do with with the video, but I just wanted to share this because it's it's quite sweet. So I was um, on Facebook, and then I got linked to this uh, Facebook group, and it was called Views of Old Beckles, and Beckles being my hometown. And I saw they were talking about North House, which is the house I was born in, where my family was for about thirty odd years, and where my dad ran his business. And it was so interesting sort of seeing the stories of where people had lived there before, the history of who, who had bought it. So it was originally like a coal merchant's house and it was like originally from the Victorian era and all these different people had lived there and it sort of changed styles over the years and obviously we'd had friends and family come round and it was just a really sweet thing to see. And, you know, things like that when you can kind of find a bit of history like that that's that's good so again tying it back in with the gifting idea like try and it's it's quite hard but try and find something where you're like okay I don't think you would have necessarily thought of this but I think you might like this and there's never a guarantee that's what that's what I'm going to say here and now with all the ideas I am just giving you ideas right now I can't guarantee that people will like these things because you know it's so subjective but you know i do think you know if you put the effort in by and large that that'll do okay so one last thing so i think we're just about there i think we're gonna have to do like one more here and then i think we're 